Hey everybody, Taylor here with Tay and K. We finally got moved into our new place, finally got everything set up. So I was finally able to, you know, reset up my lights, reset up my camera, everything like that, so we can finally start bringing you some videos again. Well, I've got a little product overview slash unboxing here for you guys today. What we are unboxing now is the Aliasis, however you pronounce it, Multimix 4 USB FX. So, see it right here, we've got it, we'll check the box out, we'll tear it apart, see what comes inside, and we'll uh, hopefully get a little review of it as well. Alright guys, box is pretty straightforward as it comes, obviously, it's got a little picture of, you know, the product that you are purchasing, it also says that it comes with Cubase LE some recording software included. We can take a look at the back here. It's obviously a four channel mixer with two stereo quarter inch inputs and stereo outputs. Really what we want is the box contents, let's be real. It obviously comes with a mixer, it comes with a USB cable, it comes with a power adapter so this is not solely powered off the USB. Obviously it comes with Cubase, a user guide, safety and warranty manual. Requirements, okay, you gotta have Mac OS X 10.7 to 10.9. I guess. I'm not a Mac user, so I'm not too sure about that one. Um, it does say computer is not required for mixer operation, so if you do want to use this mixer by itself, you can still, because it is powered independently. For a PC, you got to have Windows 8 or Windows 7, so uh, nothing before that. Now, obviously, a little more product placement. Got a couple pictures. You can see the back of the board right there on the bottom. We'll obviously take a closer look when I pull it out. Well, that's it, guys. Obviously, there's not a whole lot on the box, so let's tear this thing open and take a look at it. So, obviously, the first thing you always see, you got your manual, and obviously, I think it's a it comes with like a free download kind of thing. This isn't a CD, but manual and some Cubase manual. You got a USB cable. This is going to be your power brick. Yep, 18 volt power supply. And then, obviously, what you really care about is the product itself. So here we actually have the mixing board mixer itself. Obviously we can see we've got our four inputs, we've got our main out for left and right, headphones, you've got an auxiliary input on it. The cool thing about this one, this is the, by the way anyway, this is obviously being filmed in 2015, this is the newer version of the Multimix 4. This one has effects. You got a flange, chorus, delay, halls, you can just click it and change it to whichever one you want. You got the LED lighting for clipping and your volume levels it's got all different levels right here a headphone level low cut for an 80 hertz signal and this one you've got you can change from guitar to line if you need be gain controls you got all your different eq levels a pan levels volume take a look at the back end of it on the back you've got your phantom power switch if you need phantom power for certain you know condenser mics and the, the such you got your input on off switch go hook this all up i'm gonna get it all set up here in a minute and I'll use one of my mics I've got lying around and we'll uh, give it a shot and see how it sounds. Now we've got the mixer plugged into my computer, we've got it powered on, everything like that. I've got my Sennheiser E835S plugged in. It's the same as the 835, just has an on-off switch. Um, got that plugged directly into input one. Got nothing else plugged into it, no effects. I don't have any effects running on my computer. It's just a straight shot of Audacity. No compression, no any post-production, nothing. It's gonna be the straight audio. This is just my headphone so I can hear what's going on because this is technically acting as my both recording in and my sounds coming out of my computer right now. So I'm going to do a couple tests of comparing it to my built-in camera audio, test my Sennheiser plugged in, I'm going to do my webcam audio, and I'm going to do my Turtle Beach built-in microphone audio just to show you different comparisons of what kind of sound you can expect to get from certain devices and why I can probably promise you right now that the audio that you're gonna get from the Sennheiser or any you know just decent microphone into the mixer is gonna be a hell of a lot better than the audio off my camera webcam or the Turtle Beaches so let's switch over to the computer side of things and let's take it from there on the microphone as you can see this is the uh, I guess there's a little bit of one I think it comes at comes at stock at five uh, 
this is the sound that you're going to get. It, I found it extremely far away. And let me add some boost to it. And I'm still going to sound far away, but it's just going to be amplified noise. So let's go ahead and switch over to my Turtle Beaches now. Okay. Now I'm using my Turtle Beaches built-in microphone straight into the mic in on my computer, which is down here. Obviously, you can now hear the difference in audio between the last, which would have been the webcam, and before that, which would have been the camera speakers. Now, obviously, with the camera speakers, you, you do have distance no matter what, but you can always hide a microphone just outside of the camera's view. Well, so you can hear this. This is the standard. Let me turn it up a little bit. It's probably just going to sound louder and louder until it's just annoying. So, and I'm peaking like nuts. So that's going to be the Turtle Beaches. And now we're using the Sennheiser. Um, not sure what the previous one had. Um, I can't listen to it as I'm you know, talking or anything like that. But obviously on here you've got a whole wide realm of controls that you can adjust on this microphone. I mean, you've got gain controls to turn up the gain a little bit. I can adjust all of the bass so I can get super bassy. You can turn the bass all the way down where you get real tinny. Turn the treble all the way up. Real, real super tinny. Adjust the levels a little bit just to get them down a little bit. Put it back though. Put the bass a little bit just to give yourself some tone. Pick it up just fine, as long as you're not clipping. Turn up the gain a little bit. But this is with the Sennheiser E835. Uh, you can use, you know, any condenser mic you want to. You know, anything like that. This is, you know, you're going to get a lot better audio quality than you will with a normal built-in microphone on, you know, a webcam, a camera, you know, whatever it is. So, guys, this has been a... Just a brief overview, unboxing, slight review of the Alias Multimix for USB FX. Um, obviously, you've just got your normal EQ on it. There's not really a whole lot. It's going to, you know, obviously your audio is going to change depending on the microphone you use. Um, you're just not going to be able to get away from that. It's all going to come down to what microphone you use, how you set up your EQ, but the concept of plugging it into your computer is all going to be the same thing. And this allows you to obviously use, you know, a microphone, you know, on an XLR cable a lot easier than another one. And this option versus just going out and buying a USB microphone also allows you to use multiple microphones instead of just one. So guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more. Uh, you can catch us on Twitch TV at Tay and K. Uh, obviously, you can check us out here on YouTube. We're going to start getting a lot more videos up now that we're all moved in and set up and everything like that. So, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. Obviously, subscribe if you want to see more and, you know, get updates when, when we release new stuff. You know, like it if you want to see some more. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys maybe like us to do with this stuff. You know, what kind of software you'd like, you know, me to show you how to do. Obviously, you can see I'm using Audacity right here just as a brief example on how to uh, record some quick audio. Using XSplit. I mean, whatever questions you guys have, comment below, you know, guys. I always appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. This is Taylor. It's been my pleasure.